Hi and welcome Aries, this is Rose Burnett from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your monthly tarot reading for June 2018. Now just remember it is a general reading so take from it what you will, uh, use your own intuition and guidance and uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me attuned to your own energy and circumstances I'll put the link on this video and in the description box below. And uh, also just a little bit of news, I do run a monthly competition on my website so if you subscribe to my blog you go into the uh, chance to win a free reading with me valued at uh, around about $60. So. Uh, I'll leave the link for that at the end of this video and uh, if that's something that you're interested in, you can uh, opt in for that, yeah? All right, so let's get started with your reading. So I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. Uh, we're going to do, we are going to cover love and romance straight off the bat and uh, I've pulled a few different decks out this month, so uh, I hope you'll enjoy them. So first up, I'm going to pull you some uh, Heart and Soul Energy by uh, Tony Carmine Salerno from the Heart and Soul deck. And uh, let's see what your heart and soul energy is for this month, Aries. What does Aries need to know? And if this is the first time that you're watching my channel, uh, I am an intuitive tarot reader. I'm also a transformational coach and NLP practitioner, as well as an advanced Reiki practitioner, yeah? Deep connection to uh, nature and spirit. Okay, so first up you pulled this one, which is just so beautiful. And what it says, Aries, is stop focusing on the situation for a while and bring your awareness within. Close your eyes, relax and let go. Take a walk in the park or do whatever it takes to detach. A solution will soon become obvious and all will work out fine. Beautiful. So if you've been worrying about anything, time to stop worrying, yeah? All right, I am going to uh, do romance first, yeah? So we're going to pull some guidance from the uh, Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. And uh, let's see what you need to know. Now, this is for singles and couples. Let's see what comes out if you're looking for love. So first up, you've pulled uh, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And uh, often we can have a long list of what we'd like in a uh, soulmate or romantic uh, partner. And often, particularly if you're, uh, you've been single for a while, it's about opening yourself up to, um, I guess, different types of people because you just never know. Give them a chance, yeah, give them a chance. All right, what else do you need to know, Aries? trust I love this card it's basically saying just trust in the situation that everything's unfolding as it should do and have faith often this is about allowing things to happen in divine timing uh, don't get so much caught up in uh, wanting love and romance just allow just be present enjoy the moment focus on yourself as well um, because often when you focus on yourself and have that time of self-nurturing, self-care, you raise your vibration, you naturally attract people to you. In terms of love relationships, if you're in a new relationship and you're um, feeling a little emotionally overwhelmed, just take a step back and just trust that things are going to be okay, all right? Let go of the control. If you're somebody that uh, likes to be in control, let go of the control is the message coming through. All right, let's see what else you need to know, Aries. Mm, yeah, it's real about being present. Uh, you pull the attraction card, so it's basically saying that you were you attract a romantic love to you when when you're uh, fully enjoying the moment and being present. And I pretty much just said that to you, didn't I? Divine timing, yeah, which is all about allowing things to flow and not forcing them. All right, three cards have come out for you, and I'm going to I'm going to read them all because they're meant for you, obviously, right? Mm. All right. So you pull the engagement card. So for those of you in a relationship, it could be deepening to a deeper level of commitment. If you're just meeting somebody new, hello. This could be this could be a keeper, yeah. Uh, somebody that's uh, interested in in a in a long romantic relationship with you. Um, and also it's about being discerning, right? Being about being discerning about the type of people that you let into your life and making the right choices for yourself as well. Yeah. Mm. 
you got the passion card, so uh, allow yourself to feel that passion. Um, be a little bit more adventurous, bring more joy into your own life, particularly if you're single as well. Do those things that light you up, but just know that if you have got a new relationship coming, there's going to be some sparks in chemistry, yeah? How cool. Mm. And very early on, it's in the getting to know each other phase. And the more that you reveal yourself to each other, the more that your bond's going to deepen. And this is about being emotionally vulnerable, which can be a really difficult thing to do, yeah? But, um, yeah, just take that time. Don't rush into it. Actually get to know somebody fully because you're going to make wiser choices in love, yeah? All right, I'm going to do your general energies now. And uh, first up, I'm going to pull you some cards from the... Uh, Nature's Whispers deck, and this is all about your energies or anything that you need to know. It's a very gentle, beautiful deck, so we'll see what comes up for you, Aries. I actually haven't used this one in a while. Oh, that one's so flew out. Mmm, beautiful. You've pulled culmination of visions, so this is about your ideas and your projects coming to life. Um, it's about having a clear idea of what your vision is for your life path, life purpose, yeah? Beautiful. So if you have been working on something quite solidly, just know that it's uh, it's all coming together. Mm, gorgeous. Take some time to be spontaneous, Aries. Um, I think this really has to do with your love life, yeah? Loosen up a bit. Mm, someone wants to come out for you. Oh, gorgeous. Just know that you are worth it. In love, you are so worth it. So if you haven't been feeling like that, it's time to uh, raise your vibration, raise the uh, self-love that you have for yourself in terms of um, how much you appreciate and value yourself. And uh, it's going to grow your confidence as well. But just know that you're worthy of a great love. Yeah? Beautiful. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from uh, one of my favorite decks, which is the Goddess Guidance deck. I want to see what comes up for you. All right, what does Aries need to know in June? Mm. You pull golden opportunities, your mana. Just know that doors are opening up for you. So if your flow has been stuck, it's going to become unstuck. Yeah, just know that there are some opportunities coming through to you. This is really speaks in terms of your career, in terms of finances, um, any projects or ideas that you're working on in terms of your own business. Yeah. Have the courage when those offers come in to um, accept them, walk through those doors. Don't let fear or doubt hold you back at all. Mm, okay. You've put Kunyi in compassion. It's all about compassion for yourself and others. The message I'm getting is that it's about yourself. Just be gentle and kind with yourself this month. Appreciate the great qualities you have. Watch your energy levels, right? So if you need to take some time out for rest and rejuvenation on your own, just do it. Just do it. All right, well, what else does Aries need to know? Mm. You pulled Ischel, medicine woman. So this is not going to apply to everyone, yeah? But basically what it's saying is that you uh, you have the, the spiritual and uh, divine uh, ability to um, channel healing power, if you so wish. And that can take any form, right? It can take energy healing. It can be in terms of um, a health and wellness field. It could be um, exercise. It could be to do with sharing your vision. So you've got the vision card, right? It could be sharing your vision with the world in terms of your spoken word, your written word as well. All right, let's see what else you need to know, Aries. <laughs> that one's so dropped out. Mm. Wow, so a bit of an indication in terms of love and romance. For those of you looking for love, you've pulled Guinevere, true love. Um, the universe is trying to deliver a great love to you and send a great love to you. So if you've been manifesting and wanting a soulmate connection, uh, just know that behind the scenes, the universe is working on that to bring it into your life, yeah. Or if you've met somebody new and you're wondering if this is the one, because you've also got the engagement card yet. Well, hello, yes. Of course, I always use your own judgment, yeah? All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, crystal 
reading deck. Oh, let's see what you need to know, Aerie. And this is actually, uh, if you haven't watched any of my readings before, this is actually a healing crystal deck. So it often pertains to things that you need to uh, let go of. All right, what does Aries need to know? Mm. All right, so your first one you've pulled is Spirit Quartz Music. So music is going to be really much of a stress buster for you this month. Uh, take some time out when you're uh, relaxing to listen to music. It's just going to allow you to let go of any stresses or worries, yeah. If you can hear any noise at the moment, I am inside, but we've got a massive storm outside. It's been going for um, about 24 hours now. Um, yeah, it's kind of cozy inside though. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Under be spontaneous, which is kind of hilarious. You pulled opal joy. So it, it, this actually, in terms of this context, means to bring more joy and adventure into your life. So if you've been working really hard, time to take some time out, particularly on the weekends or in your own personal time off, to just do some of those things that light you up, that you have fun with, yeah? Bring some more fun and spontaneity back into your life. Mm, wow, you've not only got Ishel, medicine woman, you've got new my healer. Um, it is sitting under your worth it. So if there's any emotional healing that you need to do, it's about reaching out to a healer um, in terms of your emotions. So, and this can take any form, particularly in terms of I'm a great advocate for energy healing. So the fact you've got music, sound therapy could be fabulous for you. Um, of course, I love Reiki energy healing, uh, but it can be it can be also doing some meditation. But seeking out um, seeking out an emotional healer is the message. It's not going to apply to everybody. If you don't feel like you need in, to clear anything up, well, you don't. Yeah, but uh, it can also the other side of the message for this is that you can be and have the capacity and the skills and experience to be a healer as a life path, life purpose, or something to do in your time off. Yeah. Wow. You pulled Malachite healing. So two messages about healing here. So for some of you, if you've been going through a relationship breakdown, if there is any physical healing, if you're struggling with some sort of illness, then there's some physical healing to be done. Um, just be compassionate and kind with yourself and gentle, yeah? Um, often healing is about forgiveness. Uh, um, definitely you've got the compassionate card because you've got good yin. Just about being compassionate with yourself. But healing, emotional healing, is about forgiveness, um, being compassionate with yourself, letting go of the past and moving on, yeah? But um, take that time out to heal. And I think that the key message here is just to have do some stuff that just you have fun with, yeah? Bring more spontaneity and adventure into your life to erase your spark. Okay, you pulled Amazonite life purpose, which really means that you're going to get more clarity about your life purpose if you've been struggling with it um, and not being really sure about which way you want to go. Always trust your heart space, your flow, what feels right for you. Um, you'll know when you're going against your flow. You will absolutely know because you need to trust your intuition, your gut instincts on that. It will tell you when you're going upstream instead of downstream with your flow, yeah? which means that uh, if you're going against your flow, you're you're doing something that you don't really want to do or you don't really enjoy. It could be just because of, um, you know, we all get stuck in the fact that we've got to support ourselves. Um, but maybe it's about time to take some steps into uh, following, following your dreams, maybe doing a little bit more study if that's something you want to do to change careers. It's a message coming through. So you pulled uh, Red Jasper, Healthy Boundaries. Um, the fact that you've got some healing cards here, it means that learning to put healthy boundaries in place with people to protect yourself, particularly with family and old relationships with exes, um, is the message coming through. And if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to put a link on this video. I've got a four-part video series on my Vimeo channel about how to attract a soulmate. You've also got the soulmate card, yeah? 
So if you're interested in that, it does have a whole section on how to set healthy boundaries, how to know when weak boundaries are tripping you up in love relationships and all types of relationships in your life. It can be work, it can be um, family, it can be with siblings, it just can be with, it can be with lovers, yeah, love relationships. Um, I'll put the link on this video. It's a four-part series on the, uh, the top four secrets to attracting uh, a soulmate, but it has healthy boundaries setting in there, yeah. It's also sitting next to life, half life purpose, um, which means that perhaps you need to set boundaries with people in terms of protecting what it is that you uh, want to do from a heart space in terms of your life path, yeah. Standing up for yourself in that regard. Wow. You got fairy stone fertility. So you not only got golden opportunities, your mana. Fairy stone fertility is all about your ideas and your projects being blessed at this time. So keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, don't give up. For those of you that uh, are self-employed, running your own businesses, or you might have something that you're passionate about doing on the side creatively, don't give up. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck, and let's see what comes out for you, Aries. Mm, wow, did you see that fly? I'm gonna I'm excited for you because under your culmination of your vision, um, in between that is music, which is just gonna be relaxation, yeah. You've got cornucopia. So um, when you follow your vision and your heart space, you're gonna reach this point where cornucopia is success on every level. It's the highest card in this deck, yeah. So it is success in terms of wealth, abundance, financial freedom. It's also success in terms of your friendships and your relationships, love relationships, family relationships, bringing more joy and fun and peace into your life. Yeah, gorgeous. It doesn't just happen. You've got to manifest it, you've got to want it, and you've got to take the positive steps towards what it is that lights you up. Yeah, you've got to follow your dreams. You've got to follow your dreams. Hmm. This is interesting. So under be spontaneous and joy. Thing holding you back at the moment is procrastination. So some of you are a little bit stuck. So the garden and the gate is all about standing behind the gate in where there is safety and security. The fact that it's sitting right next to cornucopia, if you want cornucopia, if you want success, if you want abundance, you want a soulmate partnership, you're going to have to step outside that gate and go for it. Yeah. Just means that something's holding you back, yeah. It could be fear and doubt, it just could be lack of self confidence. Okay. So, you've got the thinking man. So, for guys, this is you. This is about standing more in your rational side, brain this month, your masculinity, than your emotional side, yeah. Um, for girls, your love partner that you could be connecting with is a thinking man, highly intelligent, maybe a businessman, but um, also very logical and rational, perhaps um, maybe not so not as spontaneous as you want, but a deep thinker. But um, don't discount him or him as a love partner, particularly seeing as you've got your soulmate might differ from what your usual expectation and type. Often the thinking man can feel quite deeply, yeah, but just not emotionally express it. Mm. Interesting message coming through. All right, what else do you need to know, Aries? Mm. Under golden opportunity and healing, which sits in between this, is appreciation. And I'm going to say to you, it's appreciation for self. It's appreciation for how, the amazing qualities that you have, just to boost yourself up, yeah? Remind yourself. Give you an affirmation when you're out uh, meditating or you're out in nature and you're having some quiet time with yourself. There's an affirmation that just says, as you walk along, just say, I am the one. I am the one. I am the one. And when you do that, just visualize yourself in terms of the life path, life purpose you want to take, the romantic partner that you want to seek. Yeah, just say to yourself, I am the one. It'll lift you up. All right, well, what else does Aries need to know? Mm, under life purpose. When you're compassionate with yourself and you do some healing. you got the door to value opening. 
amazing because you've also got cornucopia golden opportunities everything is leading you to success if you take the steps that you're guided to take get out of your comfort zone follow your dreams follow your heart space whatever it's telling you to to do that you really want to do have the courage to follow your dreams yeah Mm. and uh, you've just pulled uh, the seventh chakra archangel uriel so this is your crown chakra this is as high as you can go yeah and this is your connection to the divine and spirit it is sitting under ishiel medicine woman for those of you that want to take a healing path or a spiritual path um between that is healthy boundaries so a couple of messages i'm going to give you here so if you're somebody that wants to take that path but you've got a lot of um What's the word? Not so much conflict, but resistance from the people around you. You need to put healthy boundaries in place because between this and the Ishtel card about um, Ishtel card about medicine woman is healthy boundaries card. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, the rest of you, this is really about just uh, connecting to the divine and spirit, particularly with any worries that you have. But it's also about trusting your intuition to guide you. Yeah in love romance and your career because sitting right next to the door to value mm, that one's so flipped out let's have a look mm, and speak your truth you've also got the fifth chakra archangel gabrielle this is all about talking from your heart space leading from your heart space yeah being honest with the people around you um, it sits under true love, so express express yourself emotionally, be emotionally vulnerable with a love interest. It's also sitting under fairy stone about your project, so um, it's also about having that vision, being able to express your vision, um, being a leader, the message I'm also getting, but to have the courage to speak your truth. All right, now I'm going to pull you a crowning energy from the Kunyin Oracle. And let's see what you need to know this month, Aries. Ah, beautiful. You pulled the threshold, and um, I'm not surprised this has come out for you at all. It's a brilliant card, and a brilliant guidance on it. Let me pull it up for you. Show it to you one more time because the, the illustrations on these are just so beautiful. You see that? And what it says, Aries, is at the threshold you stand, before you lies a way of being that is beyond fear. It is a sacred passing through a karmic veil into a new life of empowerment, peace, spiritual service to humanity, and joy in your own soul. <laughs> Let me just pull something up for you. <laughs> I love doing this. this is how on point your reading is. Yeah, joy, spirituality, and for some of you, medicine woman. And you also pull the healer card. Congratulations, you are embarking on a phase of the deepest soul liberation into freedom of love that triumphs over fear. It has been quite a journey, many, many lifetimes, and much inner work has been required for you to be able to perceive the light of divine, even under the density of fear. You are fast approaching the karmic threshold where you can shift from fear-based to love-based embodiment. There is, this is a sacred and important time where it is wise to surround yourself with those that are able to love you in this love-based reality. In the near future, you will be able to sustain your vibration even amongst beings that are based in fear and you will be of greater service to life, love and divine power on this planet. For now, allow beloved Kun Yin to help you connect to the beauty and potency, the love and fearlessness, endless joy of your own higher self. Do not be disheartened by any old fears that are surfacing. You do not need to create a story out of them. You can just observe them with love and allow them to pass. It is just your own inner self releasing any vibration which is not aligned with unconditional love. Sometimes there can be a deep testing on the threshold. 
This is not an exam to be afraid of, but an opportunity to realise your development and be really secure on a firm inner spiritual foundation before moving forward into your soul service to others through how you live and be on this planet. It is no use in preparing to assist others on a higher scale in moving from fear to love if you are still making the transition yourself. Let yourself stabilise in the new vibration and your ability to help others will increase naturally with much grace, assistance and effortlessness. And well done, beloved. There is much love and celebration in the spiritual worlds about this shift for you. Remember that the only defence ever needed, no matter how apparent the fear or threat, is unconditional love in the heart which allows for compassion and detachment. You are safe and you are quickening in your readiness to pass the threshold. Your journey is truly blessed. Beautiful. And there's an affirmation that finishes off your reading, Aries. And what it says is, May I be blessed under the compassionate love and protection of Kun Yin as my soul prepares to cross the threshold from fear to love in all dimensions of my being. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Beautiful, such a clear message, yeah. All right, if you like this reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I actually do read all the comments and I do respond. If you're going to be negative, I'm just going to say to you that um, don't do this on this channel, yeah. It's all about raising the positive vibration one person at a time. The only suggestion, guidance I'm going to give you in that instance is if you are feeling negative, is go and balance and ground yourself and come back and watch the message again, yeah. All right, don't forget there is that competition running on my website if you want to win a personal reading with me. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link is on this video and in the description box below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.